Okay, in this video we're going to show you how to add a site, a new site check to hourly check, which will also include a few other things. So up the left hand burger bar toolbar, you can see some different functions there. Site overview of all your sites, doing a vehicle check, your settings which we looked at in the first video, doing toolbox handovers and using the generic checking process form and a few other useful resources like the layout distance tables. So these are all the forms that the STMS have to have in their pocket, hence why now we've got it all in one app. So a lot of these things you can do them as a dry, which means not attached to a job. So they're just a one-off toolbox you're doing at the yard, nothing to do with a job, or just doing a vehicle check. But for everything else you'll do after you've set up the site, so it's all attached to the same job. So the first step to setting up a job and doing a totally check is push the wee plus button down the right hand corner here. And then we can fill in, put in the reference, the TMP reference number, the road name, house number, suburb, all the same things that are on the two hourly check paper form, whether you're the SMS in charge or the delegated TC. If you're responsible for the working space, if not, and there's a, you've got workers there that are responsible for that space, you wouldn't tick it. If you are, you would tick it. Quick save. Add the site location where you're indicating your site is. Click on the screen, and that's put our road cone. If we need to change it, we can just click wherever we want it. Click save. Then we click save. Do we want to do a temporary speed limit, so if the site has a temporary speed limit it's always going to prompt you and ask you, if you don't you just click no, if you do you click yes and we enter that in here, so it's 30 km temporary speed limit from number 22 to 55, you can write whatever you want in there, the length of the temporary speed limit, everything's the same as the form, whether you've removed it, so that would be the end of the day, right now we're not, we're setting it up, click save, and it's asking you, is this an active site, attended, so you're on site, that'll be the bottom option. Unattended, so you're leaving at the end of the day unattended, or you're removing it, so it's your last check. So it's always going to pop that up. So this is active. Then we've got all our checks here. We can go through these. Yes, no, or NA. And if something's not applicable, we don't have a cycle lane there, we'll have NA. We can write comments specific to this site check. You can also identify any hazards or actions taken, but that might be best for your toolbox function in this app. But you can write it in here if you want to. We click save, it's going to ask if you want to take a picture of the site. So you can take as many as you want, or you can look them up from your phone. So if we go back to the top here, click the wee plus, we can select them from our gallery. You might have already taken all the pictures before we've done this. So you can attach them all in one hit. You can also view your pictures up the top right hand corner here to view your photos that you've taken. We click save and that's our first check done. Now we've got the site set up, your following checks are going to be very easy to do. I haven't done anything to my speed limits, still active, go through my checks, click save. Might not want to add a picture to this one, that's my second check done. Adding pictures is great, because when the emails come through it's going to show you checks, pictures of what the site looks like, that's great to show you how you've left it. And it's also going to have a GPS link to where your site was. So now we can review our checks, if auditor comes onto site we can click on the check, show them the check, it will also be in our inbox, because these get emailed through to your email you've put in your settings. So we can see all the checks we've completed real time. Even if you're out of reception, it's irrelevant, because the phone's recording it when you did it. When you come back into reception, you can come back in and resend it by clicking the wee email icon up the top right hand corner, the left one in at the very top. But it's still going to be a date and timestamp from when you did do it. So it's still a lot better from paper if you've got reception or no reception. It's just a matter of when it was sent, but you can't backdate it. So it's very legit and good evidence record keeping, better than paperwork, which could be altered.
So we can review our temporary speed limits. And on the right hand side we can do our briefings. So like I said before, I'd wait to do my briefing here because it's part of the site. So I've done my check, come over to the briefing, and you can add the briefing there. That'll be in the next video. Now if we go back, we can see we've got two sites here. First site I've got one check, the site I just created did two checks. And if we were to go through and remove that site, it would change to the remove box down here, like I've got a site that's been removed. If it was unattended, it would be in the unattended, unattended category. If I had handed the site over, like one of the another videos I'm going to show you, it'll be in the handed over category. Thank you very much for watching.